Hi everyone, it's Karen here for Artist Live, and I'm here today to make a shadow box frame with an elk head in it, a reindeer elk head, you can call it anything you want. And uh, I'm just going to turn the camera around so you can see it, and welcome everyone, and thank you for coming. This is the project we're going to be doing today. I had this idea in my head for a while and I just basically um, tried it and this is what I came up with. So, so basically this is what you see here. Oh, I don't want, I don't like it when you see other things. It's more like a surprise. I like it when it's a surprise. Okay. So this is, um, this is the frame. It's a five by seven frame. This is the frame I used. I actually got it at the dollar store. Oh, hi, Janelle. I'm so happy to see you here. I was wondering if you were okay because I hadn't seen you in a while. Um, so this is the frame I got. Uh, this is just a five by seven frame. And before I did take out this little um, picture here behind it, but really you don't need to. I'm actually gonna build everything on top of the glass. Um, so you don't really need to. If you have like old frames at home that you want to repurpose, you know, just make something nice out of them and that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut the paper. This paper is missile. This is a Yuletide collection from Seven Dot Studios and it's the paper is called Mistletoe. Okay. It's really nice. It's really good. It was designed by Didi Kat Katrin. Katrin? I don't know how to say it, her last name. It's just plain in the back, but really nice in the front. has really nice texture. Um, hi, Joanne. Just saying hello to the new people that have come. Great. So I have my trimmer here, and I'm going to cut. I actually took on some measurements. Otherwise, I cannot. Uh... Oh, you heard me, Janelle. Good. Oh, okay. Didn't know what happened. Um, so I'm just going to cut basically the paper the paper and um, the frame inside is basically six and a half by four and a half so it's a little bit smaller than a five by seven and you want to kind of get a nice design on it so I'm thinking maybe I'll go with this center piece here because I, I want it to kind of be even so I am going to take my measuring uh, measuring ruler thing and let's see because we want it let's make, make it at least even so the top is four and a half right and I want it six and a half so I am going to go like this oops the measuring part I haven't done this measuring for a long time six and a half so I go down to six and a half it is not hard to do. Then I turn it around and I'll go, oops, I go six and a half here, which is this line over here. And then I go for four. So from three, one, two, three, four, it will be four and a half, sorry, it will be till the seven and a half here. Since I'm doing it in the middle, I'm kind of, um, trying to and not miss it and I hope I get this right sometimes I screw up and that won't be good because then I don't have another paper and I'm gonna gauge the other one more or less I can always trim a little bit at the end please I just hope I did six and a half yeah anyway. and here we go let's see I always try to play around with it and it's a little bit too wide so I can just trim a little bit out of it and I play like that. Okay, hold on. So, so I really love the texture of this paper. I love how it has like things on the background and so forth. I'm just keep on measuring to make sure until I get it right. Sometimes I miss the mark a little bit. So I really... You know, I don't celebrate Christmas, so, but I do like this type of, um, I don't know, I like this elk head, a reindeer, just looks really cool, more steam, I guess, not, I don't know if it's steampunk or what, but it's kind of like, 
kind of a little bit my style so I did like making this perfect it fits perfectly yay so um, what I'm going to do hi Anne Marie so what I'm going to do is I just want to work with this for a little bit because I need to let the paste dry the light paste dry I'm just grabbed a little bit of the distress ink uh, black suit from Tim Holtz and I'm just um, edging the paper just a little bit so it matches make it distressing the paper good and now I'm going to create the elk head so this is a stencil from seven dot studios from the Yuletide collection and the nice thing about this one and it comes with both the silhouette and so I mean the silhouette and the actual elk head and I'm going to use the inside of it to create the elk head on this for this I used can you guys see it? It's hard to see, but you, sorry, let me just kind of show you there. You can see it better that way. Um, oh, hi, who's here? Oh, hi, Lydia. Okay, so I'm going to do this. But if, so the, the way I did it is I used the Art Basics light paste and I used the yellow, it's called Sunny Yellow. Um, mica powder from Art Ingredients from Prima, from Finna Bears, okay? And I'm gonna just mix a little bit on my mat, and I'm looking for stuff, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna take, and okay, one thing I wanna say about, um, I, one thing that I've been trying to learn is to gauge how much um, how much stuff I actually need so you don't overuse because once you're mixing it with the mica what are you gonna do with it you don't want to waste it and throw it out so um, so it's really like I really try so you see this amount this is basically enough for this and a little bit more so really and I think I even have too much but again I just because I don't want to be short I'm just doing this like this however the, the less the better you can always mix, especially with mica, you can always mix again. It's It does come out the same color, so it's good. It's not like, you know, like if you're mixing paints and it doesn't. So I'm just going to spray the good one. These ones are really good. They have this, they have the, um, the shaker inside, like the little, like almost like a salt and pepper thing. Um, I don't like the original, not that I don't like the originals, I love the colors, but at the tubs, like sometimes I'm pouring and then it, literally like spills all over and I don't like that and it has happened to me a couple times because I'm just lazy and I don't take a spatula like a little spoon or anything to to mix it anyway so look how pretty it looks so I really love how um, how it mixes so well the colors mix really well here so what I did is basically just stenciled the elk head to make sure uh, I get it right carefully careful careful watch it today will be the day that I actually don't have enough that will be funny let's hope it's not the truth because a lot of it goes on the sides and you have to be very careful And I want to smooth it out because you don't want these like weird lines. Okay, good. Perfect. All right. And one other thing that I did is I sprinkled some of these um, black microbeads. I don't know, just gave it extra texture. You don't really need to. I just thought it was cute to do. And I just literally sprinkled a few here and there because while it's still wet, you can sprinkle these and they'll just give it a little bit of texture. Oops. Hey, these little microbeads get everywhere, which is really annoying. Okay, with the, the remainder of my little bit of um of paste, I use these and these are really cool. 
I have one already done. Oops, I have one already done because I had an extra one. But this one is from, it's an old one. It's a wood icon. icon. It's Sunrise Sunset from Prima. Somehow I think I might have gotten one in the last flying unicorn kit or maybe two flying unicorn kits ago. ago. So you might um, still have it. And um, basically what I did, I just a leftover before I clean it up. You just scrape a little bit and you roughly put it on. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry, let me make sure that I'm in frame. So roughly put it on and not everywhere because I just really wanted to have a kind of rough looking texture. So, um, this is a great way if you have leftover to kind of use it. If not, you don't have to. And I'm going to scrape it all up and then clean it up. Okay. There we go. So this will be ready for drying too. And let me get some wipes to clean myself here and clean this area. Okay. Okay, so, sorry, clean this. So easy to clean, so nice, especially, uh, you guys know how much I love the light paste. It's something that I use uh, a lot. That one is soft gel. Somehow I always gravitate towards them. And I love mixing the micas with the soft gel. The reason, one of the main reasons why I like it is because um, the that it dries up quicker than most of the other pastes. So that's why I like it so much. Oh, maybe I need the other side. Oops, I'm shaking the whole table. Okay. Now, so while this is drying, I'm going to cut the strips for the sides. Actually, no, that's not what I'm going to do. First, I'll do something else. <laughs> so funny, I'm laughing myself. Okay, so what I did with the frame is that I used some black gesso to kind of paint it. Now you have to understand that this frame is literally cheap from the dollar, dollar store. So it's nothing like fancy or anything like that. And it has a, like, like a varnish on top. So gesso doesn't stay that well in varnish. However, it does give a really cool effect. So what you, what I did is I painted the frame with gesso, but it kind of resisted some parts of it and it looked really cool. It looked kind of almost antique, which I really liked. So let me get a paintbrush and, and you're going to see what I meant. So here it is. You see? You see what it's doing? Hold on. Let me do the whole part and I'll get it closer so you guys can see. So it's kind of, oops, you can't even see that. Now what I'm trying to show you, you can't even see. You see there? It's kind of resisting the black gesso. So some part of it are staying and some are not. And it just looks really neat. So I like that. I'm going to do the other side. Um, same idea. You see, same idea, hold on, let me try to get, again, I'm gonna get the light to shine on it. Look how cool it resists. All right, and while this is drying in the, the two sides are kind of drying, I wanna get the, the front done too. The front I can get done all at once. I can get the sides done all at once, otherwise I'll muck it up. So, oops, yeah, I'm not in frame. So, again, it's doing the same thing. It's kind of resisting it and looks really cool. Anyways, it will be covered. It's just to give it some color. And you want to be careful not to do what I just did, which is, maybe I'll use a wipe for this. I 
I'm trying to read what is <laughs> okay okay I'm trying to reach what you guys are talking about but I don't know what you guys are talking about and people that watch the video sometimes don't know what I'm talking about okay and sorry let me just um Okay, so here we go. Let me dry it up a little bit so I could actually. I want to come to Florida. Oh, hi, Susan. Yeah, I bought this frame at Dollarama. Susan, it lives beside me. Yeah, I bought this frame at Dollarama. That's a dollar store that we have over here. I'm going to be in Florida next week. Anybody in Miami who lives in Miami, you can say hi. Sorry, people are talking about how they're going to be in Florida or want to go to Florida. I want to come to South Africa. Actually, I'm talking. Uh, is it Gail? Am I, is it you that is talking? Magical Magpie. Is that Gail, right? Uh, I am. I want to talk to somebody in South Africa. I'm trying to. Um, I'm trying to talk to somebody. There is uh, Patricia gave me a number for somebody. Oh, Ella. I'm yeah, Ella and Patricia are supposed to give me a number for somebody. You know what? It's just I have to make time to make time to come that's the thing okay let me do the other side quickly that it's dry now okay have to make time this is the one thing that I just don't have time to even come anywhere I want to come to places I don't know how to do it it's like I'm running out of uh, what's just what is sorry Oh, sorry, I was reading something that is not related to me, but somebody was saying about mixing mica with water. Yeah, that's the thing that how Finn sprays all her stuff. Okay, so here we go. Um, the last side. Let me wash this. And um, just want to dry it a little bit too. Maybe I'll dry this in the meantime also while we're at it. Yes, that's right. Karina Basson, Basin, Basson, I know, that's who I need to, that's the name that they gave me. So I have to contact her in between the other million things. I will probably do it in the new year just because I will contact her about South Africa. Just because, to tell you the truth, I can't like, um, I can't keep up with myself I didn't uh, and Marie I didn't talk to somebody in Massachusetts yes I have all the names of people I have to contact I just really need to get through uh, December and January once I'm going to CHA and after CHA I will like it will be much easier because like I'll have a little bit more time right now I'm working double time because I have to get all my projects and classes all ready and done before I leave I'm also going on holidays with my family next week. That's where I'm going to Florida. So I really need to have everything ready before before I go. Meaning before I go away, after, like for the um, for everything else. So in the new year, I'm hoping to send brand new emails to people. So that's when I, that's my next goal. <laughs> so I'm hoping to do that. Okay, I'm just cleaning. I like my desk. Okay, this this mat that I got. This is this mat is amazing. I just got it when I was in LA for one of my classes. Um, it's actually from Art Anthology, and it's literally as big as almost my whole desk, which I really love. Um, and it's um, and it's really cool, and it, it's the same as the other mats that we have, but it just cleans really well. Okay, so I just want to show you. Let's see if you can see a little bit of the distress kind of on this. You see the distress on it? 
it's a natural distress you don't have to do any work for it just just make sure it has some varnish and that it's good okay now oops let me just clean my hand i'm going to put this aside and i want to cut the, some more papers the sides of this the, um, the sides okay so let me get All right, so the side measure, it was one inch by seven and a half and one inch by five and a half. And I need two of each, so one minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's do this. Okay, what am I doing? I'm not making sense that I'm trying to measure things. Okay, so here's one inch. One inch by seven and a half and five and a half. Okay, so um, let's do the seven first. Seven and a half. And then I want to cut here again. Okay, good. And then I'm going to cut another one that is seven and a half. Wait a second. Start with the seven and a half. And oh why that was a not very measured. Oh, but I did it right. Why do you know? Okay, good. And then I'm just being lazy and I'm gonna use my scissors. Oh no, I'm not because I cannot measure it like that. What am I talking about? Sorry. I hate measuring. You guys can tell I'm getting nervous when I have to measure. Seven and a half. There we go. I get very nervous. This is why I don't do a lot of mini albums because there's a lot of measurements and stuff like that that I can't do. Okay, there's my two strips, and then I need to do the five and a half ones. Sorry. How many inches do I have here? One minute, one minute, one minute. Um, let's just. Okay, I'm getting annoyed and I just don't like this. So let's just do it like this. Okay, perfect. These are each an inch. Ah. And then I'm going to cut them for five and a half. Let's just do the other side. Five and a half. Okay. I just know I have to measure, otherwise, I'll screw up somehow. Okay, the other one, no, oh, five and a half. I'm gonna screw that one up too. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. I don't know, I was trying to read what you guys are saying, but I can't. All right, so I'm going to edge these with the distressing again, just to make them even. so quiet here oh Janelle yeah that's what I was worried that you were not feeling well okay I'm edging I haven't measured actually I should have measured against the frame but it's okay Okay, so now I have, oh, and this is also dry. So this is dry, and because it's dry, I want to add some black to it, since I have it already ready. And this just basically I use just to add some texture in the front of the, in the front of the frame. I mean, you can use anything you want. But this was really cool looking. Oh, it's not enough black. Okay, there we go. Let me make the other one even. Alrighty. 
So now, this one, no. get the get the frame back, and I'm going to basically glue the edges. I'm going to use the soft matte gel for the edges. I love soft matte gel. I really use it for everything. So that's basically what I do. No, I'm looking for a plain paint brush. And one of the things I'm very bad at is having my paint brushes clean. I'm very, very bad with that. I that's why I buy them at the dollar store because I'm very lazy and I never want to clean my paint brushes. I never go I have them in a bucket and I just reuse them over and over and dry them up. So a lot of them dry up, but then you know what? I repurpose them and use them for my yard, so it's all good. Okay, oh look how perfect that is. Okay. You guys are so good that you guys make cards. Everybody makes cards. I don't make cards. I make cards here and there, but really I don't I don't it's not particularly something that I like to do. But I'm very impressed when people do them. I'm just gonna seal it. Make sure you always seal your stuff. You don't want it to be like sticking out or something like that. God, I'm working so much overtime, I can't wait to go on holidays. It's really like, uh, we've been waiting for this vacation for a while, so I'm really excited to just get away a little bit. To go to the warmth weather, warm weather, sorry. There's a air pocket here. And as you can see, most of the most of the um, black gesso kind of is hiding behind these papers, but it's okay. I'm using my finger kind of to seal it all in. Next is this side. I I think it's Vanessa, right? I don't know. It's either Vanessa or Bonnie, um, but I think it's Vanessa. <laughs> I don't know why I want to say Bonnie, but I don't think it is your name. Okay. Oh, too much. Okay. Um, just want to dry it a little bit because I cannot turn it around until it's dry. Oops, sorry. Oh, Bonnie, it is Bonnie. Oh, I was right. <laughs> Half right. Okay. I love the soft matte gel, really. Sorry about the... I'm just trying to dry it up a little bit so it doesn't stick to my mat. Okay. Oops. Next side is. Hold on, I just don't want. To, I'm gonna turn it around. Oops, I have a lot here. Just want to put the rest. Today my sister is picking up my daughter because usually you guys know how I have to leave early, but because it's my day, I cannot leave early. So my sister is picking her up, which is very nice. That means that I can stay with you guys. Oh, look at that. A little bit of distressing here. Obviously, the distress ink reacts with water, and since gel is like kind of watery, it's reacting with it. Look how cool if you turn it around, it's really taking the gesso off. But I just want to. Ah, I'm getting black here. Okay. and my trusty fingers and the last side how cool is that look at the distress it would be so cool to leave it like that but i wanted to add the, the paper so that's why and the last side mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. 
Okay. Oh, oops. Look what happened here. Okay. So I got, I got like this large, this paper here. Okay. The other thing I did in the meantime, the still, the other thing is still drying. I use these to decorate the edges. Okay. So I kind of break them. And what I like about them is that it's like kind of, they break randomly, which is what I want it. I don't want them to all be the same because if they're all the same, then you don't get good texture. Oh my goodness, Janelle, can't believe it. That's really hard to do all the time. Okay. There is a little bit of this. And Just move this a little bit up and it doesn't have to cover all of it it just needs to kind of look you see how it like looks oops I'm not gonna see it looks like a bit differently um, the rest I'm gonna have to kind of cut to the size this is cool and let me move this one this way and I love how I'm talking to myself right but it is what it is. Let me see. Cool. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to have this one here. I even have an extra one, but it's just going to look. Okay, so there we go. So now I'm just going to, um, to glue them. A Trekkie, somebody from Star Trek, somebody asking what a Trekkie is, somebody who loves Star Trek or is like from Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek the movie or the series. Okay, I'm just going to seal them a little bit. Oops. I need to put a little bit more to kind of glue them. So the nice thing is that you can use the soft gel for basically anything. It glues anything and you can remove it after that if you use it. So I really like adding texture to things. It just really helps. Um, it makes everything really, really pop out and really, I don't know, makes me happy. Let's go with that. Just to be careful with these. Um, splinter. I don't want any to give anybody splinters. Maybe I'll cut that one off. There's like a one that is sticking out here, and I don't want anybody with splinters if they gotta grab it. I'm having a a sale tomorrow. I'm sh selling my stuff. Hopefully, it will go well. Everybody cross their fingers. So I'm selling some of. I have so many things to sell. <laughs> All these projects. So I'm including these ones then too. So we'll see how it goes. This is perfect for Christmas or for whatever. Here's another little splinter thing that I wanted to get rid of. And the last side. Oh, thank you guys. I don't know. I think everybody works effortly, not effortlessly, no? I just when you're doing a project the second time, it's really easy. It's not like you already have done it. You know, you don't have to like, you just follow basically directions. The same with a class, right? When you're doing a class and you're following the teacher's direction, it turns out that you, you know what? It, if, if you follow the exact directions and maybe just change color or something like that, then you, it's easy. Like you just follow what, what it says and then that's it. And then you can, it will turn out very similar to the one from teacher did. Okay, so there is the top of the frame, the frame, sorry. And let me wipe my hands because I can't handle it. All right. Now the um, Seven Dot Studios also comes with, oops, these little cute chipboards. This one is part of, uh, I think it's Omoao. It's an elk head too. So I used it to create kind of a shadow behind the plastic one. So let me just show you. Wow. 
while this is drying. Oops. Okay. I'm cleaning it again. Everything clean, clean, clean. Okay, there we go. So, um, I think I used the actual distress ink, but you can also spray it, and I'm debating maybe I should spray it. Um, no, you know what? I'll just do this, okay? So basically, I use this little crown just to cover, just to and just did it black. And that's the reason why I did it black because this one is just kind of like in the back behind the behind the main elk head, and it kind of creates almost like a shadow behind it. So that's why I really liked it. go there we go and there's the little crown that goes after it's a good idea to heat set it I want to heat set this one and I'm gonna remove some of these I have to cut them off there's kind of sticking out I don't want again anybody to like oh yeah my hands are always dirty and <laughs> As you can see, I have my, my nails are really terrible too. I can see like my hands are always dirty, and people are always asking me like, "What is that?" And people that know me don't ask me anymore, but most people always ask me why my hands are so dirty. I'm selling stuff. Oh, sorry, um, Anne Marie. I'm selling stuff um, like in a in like a art show. However, if there is one of you that wants, is there a particular piece that you guys really like? Um, I can obviously sell international too. I've never sold any of my art. I literally just actually logged, did some Society6. I just logged onto Society6 and I uploaded some of my projects there. So you could, um, I don't know if you guys know about it, but I'll share the link like maybe a few, a few days in Facebook. And that basically is you can order like um, uh, things like for yourself like laptop covers or even prints or or cell phone covers so you can actually order those with a design my design or any design that you like so I I have um, so I have that um, I have that on my on, on I have to put it on my blog I haven't just had time to do it so but if anybody's interested in one of my projects that you've seen in the past that I still have I'm willing to if you just message me and and we can um, and I can sell them to you okay let's just touch this ooh, ooh, look how nice it's dry all dried up oh, almost all dried up let me just add a little bit of um, like a little bit of this okay I'm just gonna dry it one last Oh, I didn't know that the snowflake place paste has run out in most places. Maybe because of the holidays. I'm hoping Prima maybe will bring some back. Um, Deco, uh, I think it's Deco Art. Snow, snow effects. I'm not sure actually. Snow accents. It's another one has similar effects, so you can actually also use it. Okay, so I'm going to. Oh, before I do anything, I'm going to use. Okay, so I, I'm gonna like um, outline the. I want to outline the elk head and I'm using this, it's a Faber-Castell black echo color grip, black watercolor pen, pencil I meant to say. Okay, I'm going to, I'm spraying some water on my, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting words, on my mat and I'm going to just outline it with a wet pencil and what it does, it just creates a really nice watercolor kind of outline around it. Okay, so if you don't have like a marker, especially when you're doing mixed media, if you don't have like a good marker to um, to highlight things with, you can always do it with a watercolor pencil. It looks really good. Um, I do have the Faber-Castell um, pit pens, but I really like this look better. So it all depends on what you like. Um, I'm trying to read the chat at the same time. 
I know that Flying Unicorn has some Yuletide papers still in stock, or had it at least before the sale. I don't know if they all went. That I cannot tell you. Like, see, it really gives, gives a really good outline to the head. It's so relaxing to outline with this. I love when it's wet, it's so smooth. That's the one thing that it does. It just goes really smoothly. You can also do this with like a black Stabilo paint, pen, pencil, I meant to say. It's very it's like similar to this in terms of watercolor, but I guess this works just as well. Um, Almost done to go around. And then I'm going to dry it up. There we go. You see? Wow, looks good. And what you can do, what another thing that I did, use the pencil with the water. There's too much water. Let me just soak up a little bit of it. And you can actually make your own black. You can hear that me call. You can make your own black liquid spray with it. Look, the more you color, the more it does, and becomes really dark. And then you can create some spr sprinkles with it. Not a lot, just a few. I should use a paintbrush for this. It's maybe easier. All that. Don't go anywhere. And, ah, it's not working. Oh, there it is. Now it does. And look, it does it black. You can make some sparkles. I don't like it on the deer. And if it's too much, dab it out. If you don't, if it's too big, dab it out. Okay? So that's a thing. Okay. So there's ideas for you if you want to try out these um, these pencils. I am going to just dry this for a second. Dry, dry, dry. Oh, I'm missing a lot of messages here. Okay. So now I'm going to glue this inside with some, again with the, um, yeah, oh no, this is not the right color. Again, a dirty paintbrush that I have to clean <laughs> before I put it on. So terrible. And uh, just going to put it all over and it's nice because it's just glass. And well, the nice thing about soft matte gel is that it mixes, it, it, it sticks to anything basically. So it's great. Here we go. Hold on, let me hold it for a few minutes, for a few seconds. Okay, I just want to seal a little bit here. And you want to kind of eliminate those bubbles that are being created. Oops, look what happened. All my, come on, go back. And on this side. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I think some of the 
Ugh, look what is happening. I'm not being good and I'm using something that is dirty. I'm just creating. Okay, there we go. There's that. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue the other elk head. So same idea, I'm gonna glue it on top. Oops. Again, with the same gel. Kind of goes here. You know where that happens here? I need to move some of these. They're kind of blocking my elk head thing. I must have glued this before. And uh, they want to seal a little bit the black. And the nice thing about this soft gel is that it's going to dry clear, so you won't see it. And it's matte too. I don't like the glossy one so much. I need something heavy to go on top of it. Hold on. I need will this be heavy enough? No, I need that black gesso. Okay. Um, the crown goes here at the top. Let me just make sure that I did this correctly. Okay. I was just checking to make sure. Funny enough, I didn't check to see if the if the frame was right side up can you imagine if I would have glued everything backwards just again yeah see because you can stand up the frame all right so I'm going to glue the I'm going to glue the um, the crown to the top that was just an extra thing that I did you don't really need to have the crown there but I just thought it was cute and finally my elk head and where is it oh my goodness what happened to it what did i do with them okay, there it is. so this is uh tim holtz comes with two that's why i figured i could do they're called trophy antlers um their ideology i just thought it was cool because i could do two projects with them which is perfect for for artists live and I'm going to glue this. Just going to stick it at the top. And the nice thing about it is that um, it just basically stays. But it's, you know, it looks like the shadow is behind it. So you see how like it looks like the shadow antlers, the black antlers behind are the shadow of this elk, if you know what I mean, right? Now I need a ward. And I was trying to figure out what ward would be nice. You guys tell me. I have Miracle, I have Love, these are Blue Fern Studios, and I have Love, I have Pray, and I have Twinkles. You guys tell me which ones, kind of tell me which one do you think is a good one to use, and I'll use that one in the meantime, while well, you guys, because I know there's a delay a little bit until you guys write about it. Um, oops, I'm missing a lot of stuff here. Um, sorry. Thank you, Joanne. I, you know what? I thank you for, I. Um, I am behind. I'm behind in the chat, so I didn't realize that I wasn't like doing the right. I wasn't looking at the right stuff. Okay, so I'm just in the meantime. I'm gonna add these. These are just uh, Prima Sailing crystals. This is from the Timeless Memory Collection, but it could be anything basically. And I'm just gonna add some here on the sides and I'm going to use even though they are sticky I'm going to use some soft gel because they tend to not stay and this one twinkles everybody thinks twinkles wow I'm, I'm surprised that was the, uh, my least favorite but okay twinkles it is if you guys think it's the best one then twinkles I totally thought you would choose like Prey or Miracle. That's so fun. funny. All of you, I do, all of you like got the same one. Okay, so that's fine. It will be Twinkles. Um, let me see. I just want to kind of even out because I don't have enough of everything. So I want to kind of even them out. 
There we go. Twinkles, okay. Is that the name of a dead reindeer? <laughs> the project is twinkling. You guys are funny. I guess twinkles it is. Uh, let me see. Um, trying to think where do I, how do I want to spread these out? Mm, I don't know if I like it like that. I'm going to add some of the darker ones too. Maybe I should move these. It should be light, dark, light, dark. I think I'm doing it wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I should do light, dark, light, dark. And I. Sh do I have that enough? Okay, let's just see. I think it's like this. There we go. Okay. I'm not making sense, but it, it will work out at the end. It's just I don't have enough of the of all of them. And no, I have to move it. Hold on. So light, dark, because I want five on each side. This one here, and then this one here. No, this one here. Okay, there we go. And now on the other side, I'm going to go opposite. Let me see. Oh, I only have four on the other side. Oh, no. Oh, no, I have five. What am I saying? Wow. I'm really not making sense today. Okay, so let me just do this. I want to, like, I'm very much into even things. So, light, dark. Oh, it, is, it does work out well. Okay, good. And for a second, I thought it wasn't working out, but it did. There we go. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm making myself laugh, and it's not even funny. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry. I I am like I'm missing the whole chat. I don't even know what you guys are, if you guys are asking me something. Um, sorry. Okay, so let me just, okay, so it's twinkles. All right, twinkles it is. And I'm going to do it in black again. Being very careful. Hold on, I have to let out. So this is um, Blue Fern Studios. Um, I think it comes in the winter, winter uh, ward titles. So twinkles is perfect, I guess, for this kind of wintry thing. And... Um, this will be the last thing I'm doing, so just one second. Hopefully the word oh the word won't break. It might though. And if it does, I'll just I usually just glue it up again. Yeah, that would be cool to put the prima lumis. I don't have any, so I couldn't put any on this. But yeah, you could like you could do that. That's a great idea. Okay, I want to try to do this without without breaking it because it's very fine. Maybe I'll spray it. You know what? I might just spray it because the spray might like be faster and won't. Will... This is just a um, vintage coal spray color bloom. Yeah, hold on. It's getting stuck. Okay, it's actually nice. It has a nice glitter to it. Oh, it's so annoying when it does that. Okay, there we go. Let me just quickly dry this. And then we're done. Oh, thank you so much, Susan. Oh, I'm so sorry you feel nauseous, Susan. It's not good. Everybody has something going on. I feel bad. Um, okay, this should be pretty dried up. Um, no worries, the recording is going to go up live after this. I have to just um, 
put everything on. So the recording will be on there, but also like it will go on Facebook, not on Facebook, on our YouTube channel. So you can always watch it there. Sorry, there's some glue here. I don't like. Oops, did I just put my head in there? Oops. Uh, okay. So the last thing is basically gluing this, and I'm gonna use my fingers because you have to be very careful, especially with this chipboard. It's so fine, and most of it just goes on the sides. You want to be careful with it. Thank you, thank you so much, Lydia. Okay, and then I'm just going to add it here. You can even like twinkles like that. I think it looks nice if we kind of angle it. Okay, the nice thing is that I have 24 hours for this to dry until tomorrow for the show because, um, yeah, it might not be dry by then. It might not be dry now. Uh, I need more. Okay, there we go. No, is it crooked? It looks crooked to me. Okay. Is that better? Oh no, Joanne. Okay, so basically this is it. I don't think I did anything else to this. Just want to kind of grab these like wooden pieces that are sticking out here. And once it's dry, it will be like much easier to handle. Right now it's all wet and it's making it hard for me to See, I need to kind of put a little bit more glue there. So that's something that I will do. Um, so yeah, it's like a triple shadow. One of the things I love is um, it's like the rule of threes. You use the rule of threes, or just a little, one little quick thing at the end. You, you use the rule of threes when you're doing um, when you're doing an essay. I recently did that with my son, so I know. It means that you're repeating um, the same concept three times in a, pro, in a in an essay so I'm thinking well you can apply the same thing to your projects when you're to when you're applying something three times the same kind of um, idea or the same pattern three times but three, in three different ways what happens is that it, it really um, brings out and, and, and um, helps out um, you know, like to make it like more, st like stands it out more, like it makes it stand out. And that's the same thing with an essay. They, when you're putting a, uh, three things that are the same together, they, it basically, from what I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, everything, but it just helps it all tie it all in together. And this is the same thing. It kind of tied everything together, if you know what I mean. So that was my, my little lesson on essays for the day and basically on projects. I hope you guys liked it. Let me just turn the camera around to say hi to everyone. Um, here I am. So, oh, rule of thirds. Thank you. It's a rule of thirds, not rule of threes. But okay, here we have probably Gail is a teacher or something. <laughs> but you understood what I meant about the concept of it. The rule of thirds that you're using three things. Um, um, things three times to make it like more more strong and more effective in an essay or in a project the same rule applies so um i hope you guys enjoyed next week i think is the rika uh please correct me rika if i'm wrong but if not maybe it's terry terry so um hope to see you next week next monday same same time and see you there thank you so much for coming everyone i really appreciate we really appreciate you guys joining us every week and uh we'll see you very soon bye